Rockstar's most notorious game, Manhunt, revolves around snuff films, murder, and corruption. In this game, you play as death row inmate James Earl Cash, saved from execution by a snuff film director named Lionel Starkweather. Starkweather has dabbled in snuff films for a while by the time that he chose to save Cash, scoping out Cash and having him be the next star of his film, which is what encompasses the majority of the game. As you make your way through Carcer City, murdering various different gang members and police officers alike, you come across a few enemies that could be considered boss fights in the traditional sense. The first being Ramirez, the leader of the gang called the War Dogs, and former star of his own snuff film. The second being the Cerberus leader, the head of Starkweather's security detail. And the third, and definitely most prominent, being Pigsy. Pigsy is the most memorable opponent in Manhunt, and perhaps the most mysterious as well. But today, let's take a look back at Manhunt and find out who exactly is Pigsy. Pigsy is memorable for many reasons, but his appearance is definitely what steals the show here. He's a psychotic and cannibalistic obese man that wears a skinned pig's head and nothing else. His weapon of choice is a chainsaw, and he butchers anyone who crosses his path without any remorse. He has devolved entirely from the murders. He is inhuman in both his speech and his actions, muttering simple words or merely just grunting like a pig to communicate. Pigs angry! <laughs> It's very likely that Pigsy's appearance is based on the 1980s grindhouse film Motel Hell, due to the fact that both Pigsy and the character Vincent from the movie wear a pig's mask and wield chainsaws. Similar inspiration could be drawn from Texas Chainsaw Massacre's Leatherface, with similarities in the chainsaw, the wearing of flesh as a mask, and, well, the cannibalism. Like Ramirez, Pigsy is a former star of his own snuff films directed by Starkweather. There are films listed in the Manhunt game manual called Pigsy's Greatest Hits and Pigsy's Bloopers, hinting at a decent sized library of movies starring the pig. Over time, Pigsy's become more unpredictable and overly savage, becoming a liability to Starkweather and therefore being shelved from being in more films. Being shelved in the snuff film industry usually means being killed, but Pigsy did still have some usefulness to Starkweather alive. His dive into madness and derangement caused him to favor eating humans as well. So when Starkweather needed to get rid of some bodies, he had them chopped up and brought to the attic, where he kept Pigsy chained up for the time being. For the majority of Manhunt, Pigsy's existence is unknown to the player. As the story progresses, there's a few clips showing Pigsy being fed meat by Cerberus, but no further context is given, just some ominous foreshadowing for Cash. Later, cutscenes show Pigsy escaping his chains and arming himself with the iconic chainsaw, going on to kill many Cerberus guards in Starkweather's estate, conveniently just as Cash is arriving there himself. Cash makes it through the estate, and just as he's about to confront Starkweather, Pigsy slices through the elevator doors, causing Cash to flee and end up in the attic, or as we know now, Pigsy's lair. Here, Cash and Pigsy hunt each other around various different rooms and shadows of the attic until Cash successfully stabs Pigsy enough times for him to flee. He ambushes Cash one last time up a set of stairs and over an oddly placed grate, falling through and grabbing onto the ledge for dear life. Cash, not having any mercy for the pig, picks up the chainsaw and saws his arms right off, causing him to fall to his death. This is the brief but memorable encounter of Pigsy in Manhunt. It stands out within the game because for the first time, Cash is the one being hunted. Even the other named enemies like the White Rabbit, Ramirez, and Starkweather himself all run from Cash, making him chase them down to kill them. Pigsy is on the offense and you're forced to flee, making it a definite change in pace for the game. Pigsy himself has never appeared in another game other than Manhunt as a character or NPC, but in several other games he is an easter egg or perhaps hinted at. In Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in Zero's RC shop, there's an action figure of Pigsy alongside James Earl Cash, Tommy Versetti, and Lance Vance. Pig masks are available to be worn in both Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption 2. Since both games are also made by Rockstar, maybe there's a little nod there to the game that they forgot about. The next instances aren't really easter eggs, but more just characters that have similar attributes to Pigsy and may or may not have taken inspiration from him. 
In Hotline Miami 2, Martin Brown wears a pig mask and is of a heavier set build. Similar to Pigsy, he also is an actor in a movie about violence and murder and he loves it. In Dead Rising 2, there's a heavy set guy named Randall Tugman who wears like a leather gimp slash pig outfit but he also wields a chainsaw. And finally, in the board game Spinespur, there's a character named Pigskin. He is a cannibalistic butcher who wears a rotting pig's head. Like Manhunt itself, Pigsy hasn't really received any love from Rockstar after Manhunt 2 flopped. There are minor easter eggs and callbacks, but nothing really noteworthy. But if you are a fan of Manhunt, or maybe just remember playing the game back in the day, you surely remember Pigsy, that naked man letting it all hang out wearing nothing but a rotted pig's head over his face, chasing you down the hall with the chainsaw ripping. It got your blood going, and it's nothing easy to forget. I hope that you enjoyed this deep dive look into Pigsy. If you're interested in more deep dives of characters with masks, maybe check out this video of the Happy Mask Salesman, or hey, even Pyramid Head. And if there's any characters that you'd like to see a video on in Manhunt, or any other game, drop a comment below and I'll check it out. As always, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Peace.